On the 12th day of Christmas, draw a picture for me, a cute little girl all dressed up for winter. So let's get started. With this draw so cute girl, we're going to first start by drawing her hair. So right here, I'm going to draw some curves. Down, go back up, come back down, come back up. And right here, I'm going to sweep it around. Around for the side of her face, the hair that covers the side of her face, I mean, and go back up. And so on this side, I'm going to draw the other side um, of her hair. So come around with a curve, come about to the where you ended right here, and go back up with another curve. And so we've basically drawn the, um, her bangs. And so right here, we can just connect it all the way across. Come around with a big curve like that. And so down here, we can draw her face now. So we're going to be drawing a very, very wide, kind of like a U. So come down here and the other side and connect it like that. And so now we can um, draw her hat, her little beanie hat that she's wearing. So up here, we're going to come out and come up and curve it in. Same thing here, come out a little bit, go up and curve it in. And so right here, before I finished off this, because I'm using a Sharpie, can't erase, I'm going to draw a little flower. So about right here, just imagine this curve is going to go up. So the flower is going to be about right here. I'm going to draw a circle and a very simple flower. Just um, curves that go around. Or whatever you want to draw up here, a heart or anything um, that you like. Just couldn't resist uh, giving her some accessories. <laughs> so right here, just um, continue this curve following this. Go up. And so right here, we're just going to go all the way back across. So I go across all the way back. And so now from up here, we start to draw the top of her head. So come to the center, about right here. So we know that's where we want to curve it down. So you come up here and start to curve it around. And same thing other side, just curve around. Don't make it perfectly smooth or else it's going to kind of look like a ball. So just kind of um, give it some, some flat areas and some angles. That way it'll look a little bit more natural. And so then up here, we're going to draw that little poofy thing, <laughs> the little ball on top of the beanie. And so here, I'm not going to draw a perfectly smooth line either. I'm just going to kind of zigzag it a little bit just to make it look like it's fur. So it's just zigzag and come around. And so there, we've got her little beanie hat all done. Let's bring her to life. So right here, we draw two big draw so cute eyes, so two big circles. And another one. The bigger the circle, the harder it is to draw. So right here, two small circles for highlights. A curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. I'm so happy I made it to day 12. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it! Yay! And I hope you guys have been loving it so far. It's the 12th day now after this. I can finally go back to drawing uh, regular stuff. <laughs> and here, lines at the bottom. And so same thing here, two small circles, curved line at the bottom, and shade in the top. Love it if you could tell me what's your favorite one out of my 12 um, Christmas specials so far. And lines at the bottom. And so here, we're going to give her her lashes. So just come out with a curve on the sides. And another one. Just giving her two. So same thing over here. 
in, curve it in. And then to right here, I'm just giving her very soft eyebrows, just on top, curve, and curve. And of course, a cute little smile. So in between the center, I'm gonna draw a little curve and you can cap it off. For our sweet little, uh, just a cute girl in ready for winter. <laughs> and so now, we can draw her braids. So I'm gonna take this a little bit slower so I can show you how to draw her braids. So right here, we're gonna draw a curve. I'm gonna show you a very uh, much easier way to draw a curve without too many details. Come out here, another curve. So we're basically building, imagine you're drawing kind of like in, towards this direction. From here, draw another curve. And from here, I'm just going to, from there, because it's um, behind her ear, I mean, behind her um, head. So come back again, another one on this side. So it's always one side and the other side, and it's always lower. So come back in, and this one we're ending, so we're, we're going to end about right there. And connect it. Make this one a little bit longer. And right here, I'm just going to... Make it a little bit darker right here, and I'm gonna draw a curve for the end of um, her braid for her hair that's tied off, and some line right here, just for some details. So let's do the same thing other side, right here. Curve, another curve from the other side. So I'm gonna come back here, curve, come back in here, curve, out, curve, go to the other side, and come back to the other side, and I'm going to end it, it's about right there, and connect it. And so here, same thing, just where it ties off, and just curve it for the end, and some details. So we got two little braids. Not a lot of detail, but it still looks like a braid, right? <laughs> and so here, find the center, but right there, and we're gonna draw a curve. And this is for her collar, for her jacket. So come around, center, and here I'm gonna draw the two angle lines. And I'm gonna go all the way down, so imagine it going through the braids, coming down, same thing here, come down, and I'm going to connect it with a curve, and connect it. And so now we can um, draw right here, just draw a soft curve for her shoulders. So depending on how you drew your braids, how much you'll see of the shoulder. So then come, imagine it going through the braids, coming down following this angle I'm going to start to draw her sleeve. So on her jacket I'm giving her a little furry part right here so I'm going to stop and draw a curved line I'm going to come out following the same angle and I'm going to come back in and right here I'm going to draw a curve that's kind of a little bit big and it's because I'm giving her um, little mittens and right here for her thumb I'm just going to draw a curve so same thing, let's try to do the same thing on the other side. Let's come down, imagine it going through, down, so about right there. Curve it out, and come out, bring it back in, and her mittens. Big curve, and this side, it's gonna go this way, like that. And so now we can go back to find the center and we're going to draw a straight line that comes down. She's giving her a little nice um, jacket and um, right here I'm going to draw some circles for her buttons. So I'm going to draw one, go all the way down and giving her four. Four buttons. I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. It's pretty cool when you draw these uh, girls because you get to be a fashion designer too you get to dress them however you like <laughs> and so right here I'm just gonna draw a straight line that goes across 
where it ties, where the buttons are fastened together. And so now we can draw her um, angle line where you draw her pocket. So come around and maybe another line right here where it closes off. And so come across, angle, curve it around, and another line for some details. And so I thought it'd be really nice under here just to indicate that she maybe she has a dress on. So come down further or a skirt. So we're just gonna zigzag it very softly like that with curves and zigzags all the way across. And so now find the center again and we're gonna draw a straight line. We're gonna basically be drawing her boots. And so come out here and angle both sides. And I'm gonna stop right here and give her some socks. So come out, some thick socks, and then come back and curve it out. Bring it back in and connect it right there. So for some details, you can draw some lines right here just to make it look like they're socks. And so same thing other side, come out, thicker, come back in. down and curve it out and bring it back in and so same thing you can draw some lines right here make it look like socks and right here just for some details maybe some um, some curves right here where the um, boots fasten it's really up to you <laughs> be a fashion designer and so here, I'm just going to give her a uh, little ground to stand on. So it's kind of snowy, so I'm just going to do a little bumpy like that. And let's see, have I forgotten? Yes, I have. <laughs> so right here, I thought it'd be really cute to give her these little... Uh, so come out here, curve it around. Those little balls that kind of uh, sometimes hang off those beanies, beanie hats. And right here, I'm just going to draw a little ball, kind of fuzzy, like that. So one more right here. You don't have to draw this one if you don't like it. <laughs> that would be just extra cute. And so right here, same thing. Kind of zigzag, go around, little ball, like that. There! <laughs> My draw so cute. I guess this one is uh, number eight. Draw so cute number eight, uh, all ready for winter, but it's my 12th Christmas special and my last one. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this whole 12 days of Christmas that I've done for you guys. I've really had a lot of fun and thank you so much for all your support and love. So please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.